funny. Okay, I know, I'm dressed kinda... I mean, there was a memo that went around on YouTube saying that today was dressed like a pirate day in your video, so I feel very sorry for everyone who didn't get that memo. Today is the first day all week that I didn't absolutely feel like I was going to die, so I am feeling a little bit better, and I just kinda felt like playing around with makeup and hair, so 99.9% .9 of my hair right now is fake. Some of these blonde extensions, fake. My dreadlocks, obviously, fake. Some of the black is even fake. And obviously I don't grow jewelry out of my scalp, so fake, but I sure had fun doing it. So thank you to all you enablers on Twitter. I posted a tweet saying I felt like dressing like a pirate in today's video and everyone told me to do it. Nobody told me no. So today is going to be my June favorites, even though I think for many, many places in the world it's already July 1st and I'm sorry, but just last night I finally got YouTube uploads to work again. Everything has been buzzy, like literally buzzy? Buzzy? That's not... Buggy. I mean, everything's been buggy. And last night I swear the entire internet collapsed, Netflix wasn't working, Instagram wasn't working, YouTube uploads weren't working, just what is, what is earth? I don't know. At least, at least Tumblr was working. So anyway, today is going to be my June favorites and without adieu, I shall proceed to tell you everything that I have liked for the month of June. I don't know what accent that was, just tell me it was from somewhere. Very first. Number one thing that I'm crazy about is my Cortex Clipless Curling Utensil. And I got this from Flatiron Experts and I've absolutely been loving it up until now. I've curled my hair with my Chi Flatiron just kind of like curling my hair around it. But this works so much quicker, so much faster. They even give you a little glove so you don't injure yourself with burning your phalanges because this thing heats up to 430 degrees which is like surface of the sun hot. But for people who live in places like me, you know, on the swamp in Texas where humidity is like a hundred percent humidity in the air. Heating it up to 430 really seems to help the curls last longer, which is what I like. And honestly, I can curl all of my hair, even though some of this is extensions, my hair is still really, really long. And I can curl all my hair if I want to curl every single piece of hair on my head in about 20 minutes. And the other really cool thing about this thing is that it comes, it's a four in one. So it comes with four different attachments. So you could have really, really large, curls, medium curls. I have it on the smallest curler barrel right now because I really like tight curls. So yeah, I don't know. This thing is great and I will put a link down below where you can get it. I'm like doing all kinds of crazy hand motions with it. Next thing that I have absolutely been obsessed with this month is Tarte Chubby Lip Pencils. And I went out the other day and got a couple other colors. This one is in Envy. It's a dusty rose color. If you saw my last tea vlog, this is the shade that I was wearing. Which one did I use? Which one? This one! Um, this one you guys have yet to see because I haven't uploaded that video yet. I'm just, mm, I'm so behind on life. But I filmed another video the other day. It was a shoe unboxing and I wore this shade which is Lust and it's kind of a very glossy red color when you put it on your lips and I kind of, I like it. I like it even though it's kind of like a transparent-y kind of red. Yeah, yes. Tarte Chubby Lip Pencils. I kind of went crazy. They never dry. They have extremely long-lasting color. I can put them on and wear them all day long and it doesn't like rub off on my straw that I drink out of. <laughs> Wonderful pigments. I could go on for an entire video about my Tarte Chubby lip pencils, but I shan't, or at least not today. Next favorite thing of the month I get at Urban Outfitters. This is like a clothing item. I take it that's okay to talk about clothes on here too. I don't know. I'm gonna do it anyway. One of my favorite clothing items, especially for the summer and just in general, is denim shorts, and I love the high-waisted style and 
the more distressed looking, the better. So this style is available at Urban Outfitters. It's the only place I know that makes this, unless you just wanted to like go thrifting, get your own. You could, you could do that too. But this style is called the High Rise Cheeky, and I think I've almost, it's like Pokemon. I had to collect them all. I think I almost have every single color, shade, and dye variation that they've done in this style of short, but it's just absolutely perfect. It is kind of like short, short shorts, you know, so if you don't like that, you may not like these, but they're absolutely, they just look so grungy and so vintage. I just, I love it. Favorite nail polish for this month. I just talked about favorite nail polishes like last week, but I'll do it again in case you missed that video. Favorite nail polishes of the month have been Deborah Lippman shades. I absolutely love Stairway to Heaven. I've painted my nails in this shade probably about four times this month already. I like it. Next thing I've super been digging this month are products by Clean and Clear, which you can get everywhere, you know, like I usually get mine at Target, but you could find them at, you know, like Walmart or just Ulta, wherever you wanted to shop. So these absolutely have been my BFF all summer long because once again, really hot hair, high in humidity. So my face is just like a bucket. Like I feel like I could take my face off and wring it out. I know that's really graphic and disturbing, but seriously, it's just, it's so much oil. So so these little oil blotting things basically just sop up my totally disgusting face without smearing my makeup and I swear that they kind of also help keep me not get blemish, help, help, help make no blemish happen, these do. I think they are under $5 are they? Correct me if I'm wrong. Next thing that I absolutely love was sent to me in subscriber mail all the way from the UK. I love Topshop. I will gladly give away H&M if we could have Topshop instead. Just, I don't know. H&M isn't doing it for me, but I love Topshop and US Topshop sucks on the internet store. And I don't know, we may have one in New York, but obviously I don't live there. So doesn't really do me any good. Absolutely in love with my Johnny Depp tank top that subscriber Lee sent me. Lee, uh, your name is like half of Leanne. I know your name, I swear. I just am too stupid to say it properly. But everyone knows I'm a big Johnny Depp fan, and now I can wear him. <laughs> Does that sound creepy? I meant for it too. So absolutely in love with my Johnny Depp tank top, and I love tank tops more than shirts. So this is just, it's just a match made in heaven. Like me and Johnny Depp. <laughs> I'm just like digging, searching. I had them all laid out here, and now they've run away. Excuse me a minute. I have to get the rest of my favorites. Okay, I found them. Just a couple more things and then I'll leave you. I'll be out of your face. Uh, unless you've already clicked the the box to leave, please don't do it. Um, just kidding. Uh, keep it cool, keep it cool, keep it cool. Okay, can a color be my favorite color of the month? We'll just make it so. My favorite color of the month is burgundy and I feel like that's an absurd color to love for summer, but I just can't help it. I, I do. I love burgundy. And I've never really liked burgundy before, but we're friends now. We're pretty close, pretty tight. This polish, and excuse my disgusting nails, I had a nervous breakdown yesterday and I just peeled all my nails off, but this is a new Dark Shadows Orly shade in Grave Matters. Is that? Yes. Oh no, Grave Mistake. Burgundy nail polish. I like it. I found a burgundy hat at Target today. I like it. And I also have been loving wearing my NARS lip shade and that. But I saw. That's a song. And I think it's also a place you can live. But it is a nice, but I will swatch it for you because I love you. Uh, rubbing it on my hand. I'm swatching things freaks me out, seriously. But I do it anyway because if I don't, people are like, swatch it! God! Okay, so I'm swatching it. Swatching, swatching. Yes! All right, we have swatched it. So burgundy, color of the month for June. Next thing that I absolutely love is my Anastasia brow gel. I feel like it's kind of expansive. I don't exactly remember how much it is, but every time I buy it, you know, from Ulta or Sephora, I'm like, God, this is expensive! But I buy it anyway. Just... This is the best brow gel I've ever used. Sephora suckered me into getting hooked onto this brow gel. One time I got a little giveaway thing, a 500 point perk from Sephora, and inside of it was a little baby sample of Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I swear 
it works better than any other brow gel I have ever used before. I think it's worth it. It smells like, I don't know, dead rats and formaldehyde. When you smell it, it smells just really pungent, but I'm totally, god, I just, whoo! <sighs> Just killed some brain cells. Really don't have any to spare. It smells just nasty, so that that's what really lets me know that it's working. You know, like when you... I don't know. If it smells bad, it's good. It's like... That's the law of some scientist who never said that. I am obsessed with this mascara this month. I talked about it in my last tutorial, which... I don't really think it was a tutorial, but I titled it that anyway. Lash Discovery by Maybelline. It's a mini, little, little mini brush, and it, it's like, it's a baby capturer. That's what it is. That sounds like a horror movie. Can we make that? Can I film that? Can it be some kind of like low budget D celebrity starring film? Like, the baby, the baby grabber, baby snatcher. <laughs> okay, uh, yes. Little bitty baby makeup wand and it's absolutely great for capturing all the little hidden lashes that you otherwise would miss with a big old fat makeup grabbing wand. So, the only drag is is that this is waterproof. I hate waterproof mascara. If you ever see this anywhere at Walgreens, Walmart, and it's not waterproof, call me. Call me and let me know where I can get it because waterproof is just Satan. Satan and waterproof skipping down the highway together. Ugh, I'm done with you. Last thing is my favorite pair of shoes for the month, and I know it's absurd. Is it absurd? I don't know. I love wearing boots in the summer. Cowboy boots, other boots that cowboys wouldn't wear. Favorite shoe for the month of June has to be my TBA or to be announced chains. They're called chains. They have spikes all over them and these little like motorcycle chains and I like them. They're very comfortable. I never had like that awkward break break in stage. It's just like, you know, I put them on and they felt great from the first moment that I put them on. So these are good and I feel like they're gonna last me many, many summers in the future. I got them from Soulstruck. You can get them on Soulstruck too. I think that they just got a whole nother shipment of these babies in. So if you just, is there hair on this? God! Now you'll all know that I'm just so gross. Yeah, yes. If you thought that they ran out or maybe didn't have your size, they probably have it now because they just got a bunch more of these in. And inside my boot is another monthly favorite. It's like a little surprise. Ba -da -da. I am obsessed with these socks. And actually, one of you guys, a subscriber, sent these to me. They came to me in my swamp swamp mailbox. And they're alligator socks. So you, you put your foot in here and it looks like an alligator is eating your foot and I just I love it it's so magical so thank you Chris for sending me these socks he said he got them from a website called sock dreams I believe I've never been to that website but I bet it's I bet it's awesome I like I don't know I'm suddenly really liking socks I'm suddenly really wanting to accessorize with a lot of socks I need to find socks with yin yangs on them. That would be great. Or like pastel socks, maybe some lavender socks. I'm just fantasizing about socks right now. It's just great. Oh, don't ruin my moment. These socks are great and they're perfect for for swamp activities because they're they're gators. That is the end, my friends. Prepare yourself because I'm doing jalog all of this next month or now if it's already July in your area. It's currently like 8 at night so I swear I'm doing this in June. I'm gonna be vlogging every day in July. Jalog. I named it Jalog because a lot of you suggested Jalog and it, it sounded like uh, that thing from Ren and Stimpy. Log! Like get a log! And it's like a toy so I was like oh Jalog! Okay I shall name it thus. I'm done. See you guys tomorrow. First Jalog day and also making the thing for Instagram right now. Almost got it done about halfway so I will be doing a Instagram photo challenge for the month of July as well and I love you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed my piratey hair. It was fun, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I should do this more often. Um, okay.
<sighs> Remember your outro, bunny. How does it go? God. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. If you want, please take a minute to subscribe, give an alligator its wings, become a member of the Swamp Family. I'd love to have you here. You would make me happier. Also, a lot of people tweeted me on Twitter yesterday saying that you had accidentally been unsubscribed from this channel, which is just, it just... If you like being here, if you like hearing me talk, just take a minute to make sure and check that you're still subscribed, please. Just... Okay. If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, and I will see you guys later. Bye! That was like a majestic, stupid wave.